It's been an interesting period in my life. I was single for a long time, but I've recently uh, taken a woman. Uh, <laughs> almost certain that is not how you're supposed to phrase that, right? <laughs> I think I was single for a long time because I was always quite sexually reticent. Like, when I was at school, I didn't really kiss girls, largely because I was busy getting some excellent A-levels. Um, <laughs> did very well. Um, and the thing is, that's fine, but if you don't make an attempt to kiss girls when you're at school, you don't make the mistakes that you need to make so you have some idea of what impresses women as an adult. So I've gone up with some bad ideas. A couple of years ago, I became obsessed with the idea that I needed to be more mysterious. I was watching Mad Men. The lead character in Mad Men is Don Draper. He's very mysterious. So I was like, well, that's what I'll do. I'll be mysterious. It turns out, I don't know anything about being mysterious. And when I try it, it just comes off as threatening. <laughs> I once said to a woman with no discernible trace of irony, you have no idea what I'm capable of. <laughs> Sometimes it's not, even, it's not even like I'm trying to chat up these women. Once I went into this pub and I saw this girl I know, like I'm friends with her, and I went up behind her, put my hands on her shoulders, and went to kiss her on the cheek. And at this point I realised, this was not a girl I knew. <laughs> this was a girl who looked like a girl I knew. Now, let me just say this, that is an eminently retrievable situation. All you have to do is say, I do apologise, madam. I thought you were someone else. Have a nice day. What you must not do is have your hands on a woman's shoulders, be this close to her face, and when she turns around, just go, oh, dear. Because... <laughs> you have just scared a woman, ladies and gentlemen.